Remember this. It comes down to the race of the President of the United States, which causes people to disconnect and step away from the substance of the bill. You know, that was enough to get my next guest to switch parties from Democrat to Republican. So what is he saying now that Senator Harry Reid is refusing to apologize for this? It has been obvious that they're doing everything they can to make him fail. Uh, and I hope, I hope that it's, uh, and I say this seriously, I hope that uh, they're, that's based on uh, substance, not the fact that he's an African-American. All right, we've got Louisiana Republican Senator Albert Guillory back with us. Senator, always a pleasure. What did you think of Harry Reid's remarks? Just a morass of malarkey. It just makes an, an, a good American sick to hear someone saying that kind of humbug. Some people have only one card in their whole deck, and it's the race card. And these uh, people just insist on playing it again and again. It's, it's divisive. It's stupid, actually. Senator, what do you think of the way he couched it? In other words, not stating it outright, but saying, well, I hope they're not doing this because the president's African-American. You can kind of have it both ways with a statement like that, right? I don't think so. I, I thought that it was it was clear. It's, it's, it's race baiting, clear and simple. It's playing the race card uh, clearly. I, I was just disgusted to hear that. You know, Senator, when you switched... When, my, when my mother... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yes? When, when, when my mother heard that first... My mother's 104. When she heard that first comment by the uh, head of the Louisiana Democrat Party, she called me on the telephone, 104 years old, lifelong Democrat, called me on the phone and said, Elbert, I hope that you're not involved in anything like this. I don't want you associated. I don't want our family associated with anything so foolish as this. Wow. And this is absolute foolishness. Well, good for her. You know, there is that kind of prevailing view. It's even echoed in the mainstream media, Senator, the, where those who challenge the president do so because, it, you know, in their gut and their heart of hearts, they just don't like an African-American in the White House, and it just sticks in their craw, and they find any way around it. But essentially, it's to mask the racism that they have in their hearts. What do you think of that? I think that's humbug. I have uh, been... Since, since Eisenhower, I have criticized every American president, every single one of them. They've always been white, and I've always been black, and <laughs> no one has ever accused me of being a racist. Uh, some, some of the things that I said about President Bush were, 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 were terrible. I, as an American, I have the right to criticize every president based upon his policies, upon, uh, upon the things that he does. Uh, and, and this president has given us more than enough to criticize. We don't need to, to be concerned about his, his color or who his father was, but some of his policies are, are, are devastating to America. That's what we criticize. Do you think the president has an obligation to shoot down a negative or, in other words, to go back and say, no, 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 well, say, well, the people, the Republicans who don't like my agenda, but I don't think it's racially driven, or would that be akin to the guy who says, no, no, you're wrong, I haven't uh, uh, been beating my wife or stop beating my wife. In other words, there's nothing to be gained for the president to say anything, or should he say something? Well, he's never been shy about injecting race into, into issues or himself into racial issues. Uh, this is a, a situation where he should step in and say, uh, this is, is foolishness, this is divisive to America. Uh, I want everyone to know that this is, has nothing to do with, with my race, this has to do with my policies. Criticize my policies all you will. Uh, no one's going to call you a racist. Senator, how have you been treated since you switched parties? By, by Republicans, anyone. very anyone. warmly accepted. By my constituents, warmly accepted. By, by most Democrats, uh, my, my, my change has been warmly accepted. Members of the Democrat Party, the, the hierarchy, uh, they've been fairly nasty to me. I've, I've received bad names and threats and all that sort of thing. But you know, when my Lord sends me out to walk through fire, he puts asbestos pants on me, and so I, <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Senator, it's always good having you. You always speak your mind, whether people want to hear it or not, because um, I know you've agitated the left and the right. Um, but, Senator, great having you on again. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. All right. Be well, sir.